Hello everyone, it is Susie and I hope everybody is having a fantastic weekend. Um, I've got some winter journals that I've just finished up that I want to share. I have one more I'm working on, but I don't know when I'm going to get it completed. So um, I wanted to go ahead and get these three out here. These are going to be available in the Etsy shop. Um, I did the uh, journal with an envelope tag stack. I believe that's what they're calling it now, the envelope tag stack, where they just kind of decorate the envelopes and some tags and kind of bind them up. So um, each uh, these are all winter themed. Each one is uh, winter themed. So um, um, I've even got some uh, projects um, for Valentine's in the works. So um, uh, that's just right around the corner. And um, guys, um, if you haven't been to the shop lately, I've got those glassine doilies that are just absolutely beautiful. I really love them. I think I put one. Um, I made an envelope out of the 10 inch one. Um, they are super cute. Still have some snowflakes available uh, that Sharon has hand crocheted. So go over and check that out, please. And um, anyway, I want to get into the journal. I'm going to save this. This is actually my favorite one. This is actually the first one I did. So I'm going to save it for last. Save the favorite for last. Um, this one here is more like a traveler's notebook size. Uh, let me get my ruler because I'm unsure. But um, um, it is more like a traveler's notebook. It's about a, oh, about a four and three quarters by about an eight and a half. So um, I've just got it tied in twine, holding the little envelopes and the um, uh, tags together. Um, here are the tags. I have put vintage on each one. Now, all of the images that I have um, in most of the, um, well, in all of the journals is Mrs. Cog's um, uh, Winter Classics. So, um, uh, that is what I've used. And then, actually, the vintage is cut out of um, that same digital printout where she has put her vintage Winter Classics. I have cut those out to use those. Um, so, um, this one here is the snowman, snowman themed. I've kind of kept it to a snowman themed journal. So there are the tags. And then here is the envelope. There is another snowman. I love snowmen. I think I've mentioned that before. I used to collect snowmen. I really, really love them. I don't collect them anymore, but I used to. I used to decorate. I used to go quite a bit all out for um, Christmas and the holidays, but uh, since uh, summer has grown, and and uh, I just don't do that anymore. But I used to. And then here are just some winter hot cocoa. Now these are from Pinterest. These here are. I had to go find some hot cocoa uh, and coffee themed. Uh, Printouts, their old ads, so that I could put them in my winter themed. And this one, I've got the word mittens. Now, the verbiage is also from um, uh, Mrs. Coggs and her quotes. There's the winter classics. That's what I was talking about. I cut out. This is actually the name of the collection. Uh, this is actually a little snowman that I got in my last, um, the December Your Creative Studio box. I did an un unboxing there uh, just about like a week ago or so, and this was one of the things that was in there, and isn't it cute? So cute, but it just fit with the snowman theme. And then um, here I've got, uh, I just printed out a big one. This is more hot chocolate, and then a little hot chocolate here, and you can do all the journaling on the back. Thought that would be fun. So there is the envelope and the tag. So, whoops, I put that there to keep anything from sticking to my envelopes. I forgot I had it in there. <laughs> just in case when I tied it up, sometimes there's just a little bit of glue that hangs around. Um, here is the cover. Of course, here is the snowman image. I love these snowmans. Love them so much. 
I uh, just put some vintage lace on the spine with a little sorry silk to give it a little extra there and uh, some vintage uh, buttons and some of that fun tape um, that looks aged and this has a pocket in the front and I've got all the quotes like I said all this is Mrs. Coggs here uh, this here is a fun little thing one of the ladies over at Sophie's Notes had did a little tutorial on how she made um, these little Oh, I don't know what you call them, but they're just for your journal, little things you can put in the journal. So I did one of those, thought it was really fun. And there's the back, and just a few little pieces where you could journal on the back side. Got all those winter words there, some of the vintage relics. I still have these. I have them in the three and a half, I mean that three by five size, and I have them in the smaller size, these vintage Rolodex cards. They are in the shop. And then uh, I've just kind of grunged this up. I wanted it to all look grungy and, and just really vintage. I've tea stained the fabric. Here's another cute little image of the kids. And here is another little snowman I've just stamped on there. I kept the back plain. Just, uh, just kind of want it to be really winter. Their scarf, all these winter words. This is howling winds, and this is just a little place to journal. Uh, there's hot cocoa, hats. That's just a little glassine envelope. I believe this is the large envelope that I use there. And then I just did some stitching on the machine there. And then this here is a tea filter. I have coffee stained. One of those large um, uh, tea filters uh, that I have in the shop. I still have some of those large ones that have the little pocket on the or open on the side. And I have uh, just stamped the little tree stamps there. I think I found those at uh, Hobby Lobby or maybe Joann's. I can't remember now. I, I was looking for some winter winter themed um, I don't have a lot of stamps so I have to go on the hunt when I'm making something a lot of times to uh, find what I need this here is a Pinterest uh, image I have just actually glued to this um, uh, onion skin paper put a quote there that's another little stamp I got from your creative studio um, at your creative studio she has subscription boxes uh, each month and like I said this was the December one uh, and so I am going to put that link in the description box if you want to go over and check out um, her subscription boxes here is another little um, just did some sewing there here I've just took a little image from Mrs. Coggs and I wrapped it around and then I just wanted to create a little a little place that you could journal if you wanted to a little narrow journaling spot there in the same way here I just did the same thing some of that onion skin paper another little snowman tag and then a little quote this is one of those three by five Rolodex cards these are wonderful uh, we were at a thrift stop, uh, shop um, I don't know it was uh, last month or so and actually my sister found it um, so I was just thrilled that she had found that Rolodex uh, with the with the cards in it love it love it and then here is the other half of that bag and I've just did a little stitching there and just a space to journal on see I was gonna say I'll probably put some quotes in here I'm sure and uh, there are some quotes there. And then this is just some vintage uh, paper. It was some kind of a uh, uh, diary or something. A physician's diary maybe or a something. Pharmacist's diary, I can't remember. And so that's just a real vintage paper there. 
there is just a little image and on the back I just put a little a little belly band and then a little place for journaling there so there is that one uh, this one here I will probably uh, I'll just probably put vintage snowman uh, journal on that in the shop when I list it and then this one here like I said was Mrs. Cog's image also uh, it's in that winter classics as well I always love her images I just love the um, ones that she puts together they're never disappointing ever so uh, which I'm sure you all know that Okay, so this one here is in a little red, a little red fabric. Uh, this here is, I can't remember the name of the, uh, um, the uh, kit for sure, but it's in the Winter Classics, that's what it's in. And this one here is where they're ice skating, I believe, mostly. And here I have added the Baker's Breakfast Cocoa. I wanted to keep it still with the coffee or the hot cocoa theme. Um, this one here is, I just put icicles there. Looks like they're feeding the geese. Or swan, not sure what that is. But anyway, there is um, another one of those big uh, ads. And then here I've done the same thing. I added the little, um, the uh, little uh, marshmallow, campfire marshmallows and the hot cocoa. And then the little chocolate. And I tried to get it where the little girl could kind of peek through a little bit. Some of them she's peeking through a little more than others. Okay, so on this cover, now on this one I did um, put a little collage podge. Now I didn't the others, but I did this one. I'm not sure what my reasoning was, uh, but anyway, I did put just a little bit of collage podge on that. Uh, I've just went and layered it up a little bit with some different fabrics. It has a doily that kind of wraps around, vintage buttons put the word winter there and it ties with a little piece of uh, sari silk the sari silk did come from uh, Victorian Gypsy Girl that is usually where I get the um, sari silk from here is one of those 10 inch now this one here I did uh, coffee stain or tea stain this is the uh, 10 inch glassine doily that I have in the shop and what I have done is I've just made a envelope an envelope out of it uh, Lori of course girl on the ridge is the one that I seen actually do this uh, with some of her uh, parchment papers and different things that she had uh, tea fil uh, coffee filters uh, but anyway that is where this idea comes from when I make these I always think of Lori um, when I do that but I made the little envelope and I put a little, just a little journal, not got a lot of pages in it, <clears throat> just a little journal and that's what goes in there and then I just tied it up with a little twine is what I did. Now this one here, I forgot to give you the measurements, but it's going to be about the, uh, yeah, a six. A six by almost nine is the cover now the pages are going to be a little shorter there's my little pocket that that goes in and uh, another little uh, quote there oh the elegant winter that is the name of this collection right there because I cut that out and put it on the side the elegant winter And here I've just added a coffee dyed tag, just one of those shipping tags, and added a little quote there, made it a little trifold, added the word snow days, and then this is another one of the large tea filters that I have in the shop. I've just coffee stained it up, and I love that the side is open 
and uh, that you can uh, make it actually a pocket. I think the instructions said on the packaging that I had that you could iron this shut and that's what closes it, you know, if you fill it with your your loose tea. Um, you could uh, iron that shut, I think is what it said. And then here is um, just a quote and a little bit of collage. Now this came from my subscription box, um, Your Creative Studio. Um, this had a little coffee cup or a little tea cup, so I wanted to use that. I just coffee stained it up a little bit. It actually came in a little a little pad. And then here is Snuggle Weather. This is uh, this is probably an extra large glassine in this one. Here is just a piece of journaling. It had ripped and I left it. I like the way it looks, so I just left it. Sometimes when I'm um, tea staining my paper, I actually like to put my papers in the very hot, the hottest I can stand uh, when I have made my tea and put it in my little tub to dip my papers in. I think when you do that, this is just kind of a tip that I have learned since I've been coffee staining or tea staining. I think, and what I can see, the hotter the, the brew or the hotter your, your tea, the hotter the water or liquid, the more it seems like it gets in the paper. When the uh, tea is cold or when it's really cooled off and it's, you know, maybe not even to the point of cold, it's like it doesn't absorb all the way in your paper. So that's just a little tip. I like to do it when it's really, really hot and I like to um, have the tea a really, really dark. I put a lot of tea bags in my water to get it a really dark, or try to get it a really dark if that's what I'm going for, uh, color. But the hotter the water, the more it seems like it absorbs through the paper. And it causes it to be darker. So, that's just from observation. Um, here is a little, uh, just a little booklet there. Just sets in here. This is that large Rolodex card there. Another one with a little teapot. Uh, that came from your creative studio. Just wanted to kind of use them as tabs. Put a uh, picture in the center here. This is the signature where it's tied together in the book. Uh, ice skating, I just used that word there. And then here is another little, now I've probably ripped this one. This wasn't a natural rip there, but I kind of wanted it to mimic the last one. And of course my quotes. And then here is another teapot. I've just kind of made it a little tab there. And then I have a little collage going on there. And here is another little journal. I've got fluffy blankets there. It goes in the uh, glassing bag. And then I've added two tags here with the trees and put it in the little pocket and of course did a little collage with another little quote there and then the back I did not make it a belly band here I just simply put a little of that stained fabric with a quote and there is that one and this one I will call um, the uh, uh, elegant elegant winter journal is what I will call that and there is that one okay then my favorite one of course as I said is this one this was my favorite it's the first one I made and I just I don't know there's just something about it I just I just enjoyed this one now I did get a couple of the images on the envelope here uh, I did get them off a public domain site and um, I wanted some little winter looking images to go on the uh, envelopes. Here is a little, a little copy, a little lion copy. And of course all my envelopes are stained. This here I just did a little 
postal, that little postal stamp I have. And another little Cadbury's Cocoa. I kind of use the same um, printouts there. This is the Baker's Cocoa. A little ad for the Baker's Cocoa. And then this one here I did a little bit different. I actually, um, there's that little uh, girl in the chocolate there. But this one here I actually uh, made a little booklet. There's that little campfire miniature marshmallows with the cocoa ad. And uh, I just made a little place for journaling in there is kind of what I did. Put the uh, winter classic. This little um, stamp here is a Tim Holtz wood mounted stamp that I found at Hobby Lobby um, of a little um, cabin there on a winter day. I thought it was really cute. Okay, so here is my uh, big, this one here is pretty big. This is a two signature as well. It is about a six and... The cover is about a six and a half by nine and a half. It's pretty good size. And I've done some layering with the cheesecloth and the uh, fabric. And then on the back I did the same thing. I layered it with a little cheesecloth there. And uh, then layered it with some more fabric. Used my vintage buttons, the three by five Rolodex card. And, of course, the images then for Mrs. Coggs. Love the snowman. He is my favorite. Okay, so I have uh, added a pocket here. I actually had this um, completely done and then decided it needed a pocket. I wasn't going to put one there, and then at last minute I decided I needed a pocket. So I just created a pocket there. And then here's just some little uh, places to journal, a little journaling booklet there. Um, here I've just done a little collaging with the vintage buttons. Here is um, a little, little booklet there. This here is some of that paper that I have in the shop. It is a recycled copy paper that is in a sandy it's called craft, but it's in like a sandy color. I really liked it. I did because I wanted this to be grunged. I did take some walnut um, stain and uh, some of the um, is it antique linen spray stain from Tim Holtz, and I sprayed it. And uh, of course, this is just a alterations um, tag. I cut the bottom off or perforated the ball where it's perforated I tore it off but that's what this paper is and then here is that image I have actually backed it to a uh, to a piece of uh, paper there now this here let me see if I've got the paper like this I I cannot recall where I got it from I am going to put it in the description box so it's a digital it's one of the winter digitals I'll have to look it up and see where I purchased it uh, here is a couple of little tags I've put in there with that your creative studio stamp that I got for the new year and but it, it has some really uh, cute winter papers where I got that here is another um, another one of the tags just the coffee dyed shipping tags I've just did some collaging on it this here came out of that uh, this is like a washi paper it came out of that subscription box as well. I kind of just cut it out and then stuck it over her image to frame her face. And then here is uh, just a piece of that uh, shipping tag there. I've got the little tree that I've uh, stamped on that tag there. Here is another one. I've cut the image in half. It was actually one image so that I could have it on two separate papers there and then I just did a little oh a little collage a little sewing put some vintage fabric there 
This here is one of those vintage Rolodex cards. This is the large one, and I just did my uh, collaging on it, put like a little tab on it. Here is a old vintage receipt, and I've just added a couple of stamp tags, one on each side as I draped it across the, the page. This is Happy New Year, lots of happiness, uh, the new dreams and hopes, uh, dreams and hopes. And that was out of the uh, Creative Studio. That was in the Snowflake, that winter, winter stamps that I had. And then here is that image from Tim Holtz again on one of the large Rolodex cards. Slipped it in the pocket. These are some large merchandise tags. I have them in the shop as well. Um, they're just large merchandise tags. And I, I enjoy using those. It don't seem like I use them very often, but, but I do enjoy using them. Uh, this here is one of the very large, this is the gallon size tea bag that you can get at Walmart in the, uh, I think it's Red Diamond uh, brand is what I found it in. And so it doesn't have a pocket to open. But I've used it just basically as a tab as well as to be able to collage on it. And then I've just got boots and some winter... Uh, uh, winter some vintage buttons and anyway cheesecloth just did a little collage there here is another little just place to journal another shipping tag and the center of the signature on this one I actually tied the uh, the sorry silk in the middle of the signature it was wide enough where I had put the two signatures in and just to be different I tied the bow in the middle of the signature instead of on the outside I put it on the inside here is a little collage here bitter cold and they're all in their sleds look like some kind of sled race and then here's some more of that digital that I printed off that I will get the name of that in the description box as well and just did a little collage here. This is some of that really fun trim I found at Hobby Lobby in the Christmas section. Just love that. And then uh, here is just a little place to journal. I got the little hot cocoa and ice. And that little girl's on the ice with the puppy. It looks like the puppy's on the ice. It looks like she's standing on the side of the pond. There's another little piece there. Here's another little one of those uh, little collages on that big big tea filter. Now these I had to cut and get the tea out of. I always cut them, get the tea out of them, then stain them. I, I don't like to get all the the tea yucky and then try to get it out of there. I, I don't like that. So I actually cut the tea out before I stain it. And then here is a little um, poinsettia, uh, holly and uh, just tucks in this vintage postcard and here is another little little booklet with them in the in the sleds there center of the signature this here um, is a vintage flash card one of those tall flash cards and I just went ahead and collaged it up a bit and this is a image that I have cut in half and this is some vintage ledger that is absolutely beautiful writing and then I've just slipped it there as a tuck in this big uh, roller deck. Okay so I have this and I have just a little a little place for journaling there just made a little tuck spot and then a little collage there and then here is a little tag I've added glistening on it. Just a little grunge tag there. There's some more of that fun little trim. And uh, here is the back. I've added just another little pocket here. Have ice on it. Little corrugated board there. And uh, this here I've just sewed a little another little journaling spot for you and there is that 
Uh, this one here I will call the uh, Winter Classic. The Traveler's Notebook, well probably be Snowman Traveler's Notebook. I'll probably have to put that TN size on there. And then of course the Elegant Winter. So everybody have a great uh, rest of the weekend and um, I will catch you in the next video.